this is what it looks like when a massive car bomb is detonated. These images were taken on a cell phone outside Baghdad's Justice Ministry and show the full destructive power of this latest attack. Within moments, sharp bursts of gunfire, followed almost immediately by the klaxon blare of alarms. And the first reaction of Iraq's armed forces, shooting in the direction of the attack and caught up in the overwhelming mayhem of a blast of this magnitude. The car bombs were detonated just minutes apart, the first striking the Justice Ministry at 9.30 a.m. local time. The second targeted a senior government office. Both buildings are in areas normally under heavy security in the heart of Iraq's capital. Police and emergency rescue personnel raced to the scenes of the attacks. The explosions clearly powerful enough not only to cause damage to the buildings themselves, but to rupture water mains and pulverize cars parked nearby. As they raced to drag the wounded to safety, officials said that given the size of the blasts, they expect the casualty figures to climb. Within hours of the blasts, Nuri al-Maliki arrived at the scene. The look of shock clearly evident on the Prime Minister's face. He vowed to do whatever is necessary to bring those responsible to justice. While no one has yet claimed responsibility, the timing of the attacks is already raising suspicion. That's because Iraq's political leaders were set to meet later today to resolve a dispute which could lead to a delay in the nation's next elections, slated for January. On Saturday, the Prime Minister said failure to reach an agreement could lead to a delay of one to two months. And if that happened, quote, the government will lose its legitimacy and Parliament will have lost its legitimacy. He concluded by pointing out, quote, we will go back to square one and we will return to sectarianism. The country's military leaders have also expressed their concerns about the political wrangling, believing that a delay now could lead to increased security problems across the country. They insist they have plans in place to deal with any eventuality brought on by a delay. But the general consensus, both in the political and military spheres, is that unless this impasse is overcome quickly, it will lead to what one participant called a constitutional and political void. Now, in light of these massive car bombs directed at the heart of the government, it's unclear if the political rivals will risk convening and try to resolve their political problems before the security situation deteriorates even further. Owen Fay, Al Jazeera.